How's it going guys? It's Darren with muzzleloaders.com and we are back by popular demand with Nate Savage. Uh, we are going to be doing another ballistic gel video, as you can see. Unfortunately, we had to retire Blobby Boucher because he got super moldy, stank up our entire warehouse. So he went in the dumpster and we got some official ballistic gel. So this is not homemade. This is stuff we bought off of someplace. And uh, it's a little denser, so we're gonna try and get our ELDX, the Hornady ELDX bullet, because for you that's new. You guys are probably gonna wanna know how that performs before buying them. So uh, we're gonna take what little bullets we have and try and get one to stop in here so we can see the terminal performance and get a full good view on this in this ballistic gel. So uh, let's go ahead and set these up and then we'll uh, get to film and get some rounds down range. All right, so we have uh, our ballistic gel set up here. So what we have, uh, we had to do is because the range is a little bit higher than uh, the targets out here, we had to put a two by six in there just to kind of prop this up some. Hopefully that's gonna work out because we don't want to like come in at an angle and like miss half the ballistic gel block. Um, we have both of them stacked up. Just in case the bullet does make it all the way through all this, we have a box with some t-shirts that will hopefully catch the bullet. I doubt it's gonna have very much energy when it makes it through these gel blocks, uh, especially at 100 yards. At our 25 yards, it went th all the way through the ballistic gel block, mm -hmm. and then um, we caught it, it hit the plywood, but the bullet bounced off. And if you guys remember, we had a hard time finding those bullets, so we want to avoid that whole that whole song and dance this time. Impacting our handy dandy bullet stopper and bounced off somewhere, and just be able to reach in there and pick up the bullet. So super high technology t-shirt yes, catcher. T-shirt ca t-shirt catcher. <laughs> you this is patent pending. Please don't replicate. Um, so we're gonna go back. Uh, we actually we stuffed some other cameras we got to set up here so you guys can see the impact. Uh, but then we're gonna go back and get our shot going and you know fingers crossed this is gonna work well. So stay tuned. We have the nitro fire, uh, we didn't say this earlier, but we have the nitro fire vapor. Uh, we're using the 120 grain fire sticks um, and Federal 209A primers. And so that's kind of our go-to for um, bu bullet testing because uh, if you it just eliminates some of the variables, makes it really fast and easy to test bullets. We have a Leupold VX3 HD, HD, extra clear. Uh, lab radar, we've been getting excellent standard deviations out of this. Um, I think we're still in the single digits. Yep. And so hopefully everything should go according to plan and we'll get what we need to do. But this is the moment of truth. We have sharpshooter Nate on the job and uh, I'm optimistic. So <laughs> let's get a shot on. Perfect shot, but I, I wasn't ready. What? I didn't say I was ready. I was trying to get everything adjusted. <laughs> I thought you were no. I thought you was forever down there. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> that was dead center. Right dead down center. the middle. Oh dead my center. gosh. All right, Sharpshooter Nate has done it again. We He just dead center punched that, uh, dead center punched Ricky Blobby. And unfortunately, there was some miscommunication. <laughs> I was not ready with the trigger cam. Give him like five uh, I'll show minutes. you the aftermath through the trigger cam. <laughs> but uh, we're going to head down range first, and then we'll take a look and see uh, up close. I'm really optimistic that the bullet's still in there. Ooh, I'm but, less optimistic. Well, let's have to wait and see. Let's go see. It is a heavy bullet. It yeah. could definitely yeah. not be in the ballistic gel. So we'll just have to see what happens. But. Super excited that we dead centered it, so we're at least going to get some excellent, uh, excellent ballistic gel footage for you guys. So let's go ahead and head down range. We want to stop a little short because we've both been really excited. We recorded a podcast yesterday discussing about like what we think about the ELDX and kind of where it's going to fit amongst the other popular bullets today. I kind of hung my neck out there. Nate hung his neck out there, said it's going to be the best bullet on the market. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this ballistic gel block and we'll see what the, uh, the data actually says. <laughs> so let's go check it out. That's a good wound channel. It's still in there. Oh, look at that. Yes. 
All right. Oh, yeah. Let me get a good side profile here oh, for you. Oh, man. There we go. That is cool. That is epic. You got some pedaling. You got good retention. Oh, man. Good mushroom. Looks like it looks like it expanded really well yep. and then kind of just penetrated with the slug. Yeah, we got some, uh, there's a ballistic tip right there, kind of yep. left early, which is what you want. A little side profile there. You can see the wood channel is wider from top, the top view there. Cuts out that way. Yeah, this is the top view? Yeah. Okay. And then this is the side, you get some more narrow. Huh. But this first portion here is huge. Kind of reminds me, it doesn't remind me at all of the um, FTX bullet. It's very different. Well, I think the other thing too that you kind of got to take into account too is this is much more dense. Yeah, it's true. So that wound channels that we were getting on our homemade stuff were massive because yeah. it wasn't as dense. Yeah, it's true. So if, if we had this in the ballistics gel that we were shooting before, I think you'd see a much bigger wound channel. That's a good point. It's much more concentrated. It is nice that it's a lot clearer than our other ballistic yes. gel too. Yeah, this is a cool, I'm gonna need to take some pictures of this. Definitely, Frame definitely. It. <laughs> That's pretty epic. That's I, awesome. I honestly like it reminds me a lot of the ELR as oh, far yeah. as yeah. it's uh, and which is what I kind of figured it would. Yeah. I mean, it's similar design. Yeah, yeah. And it looks like it, the like we'll have to pull it out and do a side by side of the ELR oh, wait, bullet yeah. and this one, but they look like they're very similar in composition, mm -hmm. like the way they mushroomed out and held together. Yeah, you can kind of see here, you can see the base of the bullet there. Yep. And the mushroom is good. Yeah. You can see some copper there, copper there. You got this piece of copper jacket here but the slug looks really really good i'm yeah. excited to see what the weight retention is right at the back of it too perfect yeah like yeah it's exactly what we want okay so next step we're gonna actually try and cut this bullet out we want to make sure we can measure weight retention so we'll measure the retention of this slug versus the slug that we didn't shoot um this is very very tough stuff so i use my bench made not a sponsor <laughs> Okay, boy, it's so much cleaner than Blo than Blobby yeah. Boucher. Blobby Boucher was sticky and messy. Oh yeah, that's nice. I don't know if you guys can can see that all right. You me get closer, Emilio. Good. Yeah. So I mean, you got pretty solid weight retention. It still feels really heavy too. I don't think we lost a whole lot of weight. All right, guys. Well, I think that's about it for us today. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this as much as we do, request more on the bottom. Please request more because we love doing ballistic gel videos. Probably our favorite content to make. Um, let us know what bullets you want to see next time. And uh, if we get enough requests, we're going to try and make it happen for you. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Down. We have the technology. We, we can, can rebuild, rebuild it. And then, and and then like, do like a fast thing yeah, like melting it down. <laughs> like time like, lapse. Yeah. Oh my God. And fun. then like, oh, <laughs> the, the million dollar blobby. That's right. Gosh, that's funny. <laughs>